Praise the Lord friends welcome back to Spiritual Morsels. We all know who is Apostle Paul. Almost half of the New Testament was written by Apostle Paul. Such an amazing man of God. He carried such a great anointing upon him. Many times we think that a person who carries such a great anointing does not have suffering in their life. They don't have to go through pain. But when we look into the life of Apostle Paul, he says in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 that he had a thorn in his flesh. He had to go through pain. He had to go through suffering. And it's so beautiful. It's so interesting to notice that he calls it a thorn in the flesh. Many times I have thought, what could this thorn be? Why was he not more specific? Why is it that he did not let us know in detail what that problem was? And I believe it was the Holy Spirit who made him write a thorn in the flesh. You see, in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, it says, For all scripture is God-breathed. It's by the influence of the Holy Spirit that people wrote what they wrote. Paul wrote what he wrote because the Holy Spirit made him write that. The Holy Spirit made sure that Paul would not write in detail about his problem. Because if Paul had would have mentioned what his problem was, many of us would not have been able to relate to that problem. Today we are able to relate to that problem because each one of us have a thorn in our flesh. The thorn that I experience right now is not the thorn that you experience but each one of us are experiencing something that gives us pain something that makes us sad a thorn in our flesh many times i have wondered what could this thorn be you see this thorn could have been a sickness the reason why i'm saying this is because in galatians chapter 4 verse 13 and 14 paul mentions about a certain sickness that he suffered in his body, a certain weakness in his body, an infirmity. We don't know what it was, but it could be that sickness that was troubling him. So maybe the thorn in the flesh was the sickness for him, a pain, a weakness in his body. The thorn could also have been some people, some people who constantly hurt him with their words, with their actions. Because in the book of Ezekiel chapter 28 and in the book of Numbers chapter 33, we see God calling certain people as thorn. God calls them thorn in the flesh of Israel. The people who mock Israel, the people who trouble Israel, the people who are constantly causing pain in the life of the Israelites. God refers to them as a thorn in the side of Israel, a thorn in the flesh of Israel. So maybe Paul was talking about some people who were constantly troubling him with their words, with their actions. We don't know. Whatever it is, it says he prayed and he asked the Lord to take the thorn away thrice. You see, Jesus also in his life, we see in Matthew chapter 26, Jesus prayed thrice and asked the Lord, Father, if it is possible, remove this cup of suffering away from me. We see a lot of similarities between Jesus and Paul. Over here, after praying thrice, Paul stops praying because he says in verse 9 that God spoke to him and God said, my grace is sufficient for you. My grace is enough for you. It doesn't matter. The thorn will give you a little pain, but I will make sure through my grace that you will be able to endure it, that your life will not fall apart because of this thorn. You see, friends, our lives is like this. If for you today, this thorn can be a sickness in your body or maybe uh, for you, it is some person who's causing you pain through their words, through their actions. You see, many times when these thorns come into our life, we say, we, we, we get scared. We say, Lord, my life will fall apart. I, I will not be able to endure it. But God says, I know this thorn will cause you pain. When the thorn pricks you, it will cause you pain. And this pain will make sure that you will trust in my grace. But if you're filled with grace, if my grace is inside of you, I will make sure that you will not fall apart. I will make you a wonder among the nations. People who are watching and who are looking at you to, to, 
eagerly see the way you are falling they will be amazed because they will say that wow look at the way she is shining for the glory of god in spite of having thorns in her life maybe you have somebody in your life who's constantly troubling you you might have told your husband or your wife or your children or your parents that please don't say like that please don't behave like that that hurts me i don't like that but in spite of you telling them again and again they might be causing emotional hurt emotional wounds but god says it doesn't matter whether they prick you whether they hurt you like a thorn in the flesh god says my grace is sufficient if you trust in my grace i will make sure that you don't fall apart you will stand firm friends this grace is what we need like paul let us today pray and ask the lord to fill us with this grace you see paul had experienced this grace and that's why he could say boldly in philippians chapter 4 verse 13 that uh, i can do all things through christ who gives me strength in verse 12 he says that he has gone through suffering he has experienced emptiness he has experienced hunger but he says by the one who strengthens me by jesus i can do all things this grace is actually jesus grace personified is christ friends if we have this grace in us if we are full of god's grace no matter what thorn in the flesh comes our way we will stand we will not fall apart we will be turned into wonders among the people people will watch us and they will give glory to god our lives will be a testimony for the glory of god amen let us pray and seek the lord for this grace rather than asking the lord to remove the thorns from our lives let us ask the lord that he fills us with his grace and helps us to bear the fruit of the spirit amen god bless you